Hi everyone. So, um, half introduction, half <laughs> channel update here today. So, a uh, little bit more casual than the introductions I normally do to the videos. So, bear with me. And if you get bored of listening to this bit, um, go forward about two or three minutes in the video. So, um, all going well. Thank you everyone for sticking around. Thank you for those of you who've just found the channel for finding it. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, videos coming thick and fast, sticking to the three-week schedule, doing tons and tons of collaborations at the moment. So it's keeping me busy, keeping me out of trouble, keeping me off the streets, but very exhausting. Hopefully they'll all start appearing on other channels in the near future. Uh, fan art, as you might have noticed right at the end of each video, I try and feature fan art on a rotational basis. Thank you everyone that submits something, draws something, uh, paints their body, puts me on a mug and stuff like that. Cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. All I do is tell stories, so the fact that some of you like the work so much really means a lot to me. Okay, what's going on? Anything else? Um, really, really great long story coming. Thought it was going to be today, but it's going to be Wednesday because it's taking forever to edit because there's um, five different people adding their vocal talents to that one. So nice story coming up on Wednesday, uh, which means I've had to fall back on this little beauty for tonight's video. Yep, I'm returning to the deep web again. This one starts off in familiar territory, but it takes it into um, an interesting and pretty gruesome direction towards the end. So if you're a bit squeamish, stop listening, come back on Wednesday. <laughs> um, Q&A video coming up. I know it's supposed to be the 15,000 subscribers and I'm up to nearly 18,000 now, but hey, that gives you an idea of how disorganized I am. It is coming up next weekend. There, I've said it, so I've got to do it now. All right, everyone, that's enough of me waffling. You know what to do. Do I need to remind you? Okay, go on then. Sit back and relax with your favorite drink. Because now it's time to listen. Remember when deep web stories were a fad? <laughs> Every week you'd find a new tale of someone going too far on the deep web, finding something terrible and ending up getting attacked for speaking out against it. Well, this story's a bit similar. The difference is, I still love the deep web. Okay, let me explain. I was a senior in high school at the time, and I was definitely no popular kid. My friends were the oddities of the school, the few people who dared to defy the norm. It was them who told me about the deep web, a place on the internet where you are completely unwatched, anonymous, capable of doing whatever you want. Of course, I was intrigued. Most of my friends just use it to buy drugs, but I thought a little bigger. I wanted to know what happened in the darkest parts of the deep web, whether or not my friends were telling the truth when they talked about horrible fetish sites and assassins you can hire to kill anyone you like. Of course, I wasn't planning on using any of it. I've never been particularly interested in sex, so fetish sites don't interest me and there's really nobody I'd like to kill. It was the mystery of it all that fascinated me. Going to these sites would be like peering into a side of the world only a few have ever seen. Like a wholly new experience. At the time, I was tired of the monotony of life. I'd get up at the same time every day, go to school, attend the same classes, talk to the same people. Go home, play some games, do homework, go to sleep, and then I'd repeat. I wondered if other people got tired of that too. Anyway, it took me a while to actually dive into the deep web. As fascinated as I was, I'd been warned of what could happen to me. I'd read the stories that I talked about earlier too. Now, 
who isn't afraid of being threatened by hackers or stalked by some creep that you piss off online. That kind of shit kept me away from actually going on the deep web until the day I manned up and decided it was time to break the monotony. It was time to delve into the underbelly of the internet. Time to see a world I had only dreamed of. Well, for the first week or so, it was fucking boring. It was just drug sites and stuff where people exposed government secrets or whatever. Nothing as dark as I'd expected. Now, I don't even do drugs, so that was useless to me. And I wasn't into politics. There wasn't really much I was into back then, so I was disappointed. The only reason I kept exploring was my sheer desire to experience the world I thought existed on the deep web. That world was darker than any drug site. That world had murder, torture, fucked up porn for fucked up people, and all sorts of nasty shit. Well, I eventually got my wish. Just when my apathy towards the deep web got to its highest point, I found what I was looking for. The site didn't have a name. I thought it was a broken link at first, since it only led me to a black screen. Right before I could click out, however, a chat box opened. Someone using the name admin typed in the chat box saying, Congrats. You found the worst place on the fucking net. I stared at the screen, more bemused than afraid. It took me a moment to type back. Cool. That's all I said. What else was there to say? Hmm, <laughs> I'm here to see your finest torture porn. A moment after, the admin replied. <laughs> you want in? I hesitated, all those horror stories flooding back into my head, but it was too late to chicken out. This was what I'd come for. Even if I just clicked out at the first sight of danger, I had to see what was there. I had to break the fucking monotony. I had to know. I hastily typed back, not allowing myself to stop. Yeah. The chat box closed, and I was led directly to what looked like a video, with another chat box next to it. There were around five other people there, each eagerly awaiting for... something. The video was in black and white, and showed a small room. The only thing inside was a wooden chair, until, after around five minutes of waiting... The door to the room opened. A man was shoved inside, blindfolded and naked, save for a pair of black briefs. He was followed by a woman, this one dressed all in black, her face covered by a mask. In an instant, the chat room went wild. I almost closed the window to spare myself, knowing immediately where this was going. But again, I told myself that this is what I wanted. Maybe not the torture, but definitely the window into the very worst parts of the world. The woman pulled a knife from her pocket and cut off the man's blindfold as she shoved him into the chair. He didn't struggle for a moment, and once his eyes were visible, I could see why. It looked like he'd been drugged. Resisting was impossible. I frowned, glancing to the side. This was fucked up. I knew this was fucked up. My conscience told me to call the cops, or at least to click out. But I forced myself to watch. She turned to the camera, pointing the knife at the man's throat. One of the people in the chat typed, One of the fingers! Cut off one of his fingers. I clenched my hands into fists, taking in a sharp breath. 
was this really fucking happening? Was I going to just watch as this guy got mutilated? As a small crowd of people watched in glee? I felt like throwing up. A feeling that only worsened when the woman nodded and turned to the man, grabbing his limp hand and carefully slicing off one of his fingers. Blood spurted from the wound, and the man moaned in pain, but he couldn't fight back. Breathing heavily, I hovered my cursor over the X, planning on getting the fuck out of there. But I didn't. The woman looked unimpressed, as if she thought the people in the chat could do better. Another person called for a slice up the man's arm, and she complied. He was breathing heavily now, clearly in deep pain. But these people, these people were fucking sick. They were cheering her on from the chat, suggesting new and painful tortures for her to inflict. Eventually, I stopped breathing heavily. I stopped feeling sick. It was starting to grow on me. By the end, the man was on the ground, covered in blood and breathing heavily. I watched this for around half a minute. The people in the chat were starting to die down. They'd inflicted enough pain. They'd had their fun. It seemed like things were wrapping up. <laughs> Funny, I thought. How it was over just when I was getting into it. I smirked. This was exciting. This was better than any game I could play. Much better than any fucking class I could attend. Better than sitting with a group of fucking nobodies pretending like I cared for a goddamn second about them. This was the world I wanted to see. This was darkness. This was the underbelly. This was reality. Fucking end him. Slit the throat. I typed in the chat for the first time. She nodded for one last time bringing the man to his feet before slowly dragging her blade across his throat, sending more of his blood spurting out. Once it was done, she dropped him, and he fell to the ground, limp. He was dead. The people in the chat started complimenting the torturer, talking about how it had been another good time, starting to set a date for the next show. On screen, the woman left the room, leaving the corpse behind. Of course, I hastily wrote down the date for the next showing. This was going to be a part of my life now. I was going to be part of something bigger. I was going to command these people's deaths. <sighs> what a rush. <laughs> so, yes, I still love the deep web. I'm in college now, and, well, I'm even more immersed in the deep web. I've seen shit some people would freak out just knowing exists. I've fucked around every sick porn site known to man. I've finally broken the monotony of life. Inspirational, right? How one high schooler defies the boredom inherent in his life by discovering his true passion. Ah, <sighs> I love the deep web.
Thanks for taking the time to drop by and watch this video. You know what would make me a happy doctor? Hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Go on, I've got plenty more stories to tell you. Ha 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 ha.